Yo. Welcome to another Synfig tutorial and for this one we'll be taking a look at the group layers into filter layer and um, there's pretty much no documentation on this itself and trust me I've, I've looked through the um, documentation page on the Synfig website um, but I'm gonna show you how it works or how I think it works right so firstly I'm going to add an object to the scene and to get to that uh, filter group just right click in the layers panel and click group layers into filter now the way this works um, is that whatever whatever is underneath the filter group it will affect it so if uh, I just added a circle and I placed it beneath the filter group so if I should click on the filter group and move it everything that is beneath it will also move if I should scale the layers that are beneath it will also scale so whatever transformation I perform on the filter group it affects the layers underneath now it doesn't work if the the layers are above it so let me just I just placed that above it you can see that it's now moving independently right it only affects it if the layers are underneath it okay um, now you, the, you can open the filter group and um, still alter whatever you have inside and it won't affect what is underneath it right but if you want to affect what it what is underneath it you would click on the filter group layer so it can affect the layers underneath and it doesn't matter how many layers you have underneath it it will affect all of them just the same so let me go ahead and move this down and move this down and we can see that it's affecting all of them all of them okay so that's one use of the filter group now another use is that you can actually use this um, to create reflections or shadows um, and let me actually demonstrate this so I'm gonna add my circle and I'm just going to do um, a basic transform on this circle well I'm going to have it move up then move whoops I accidentally added two let me delete the both of those and go back to my circle tool and I'm gonna select this one this layer type although for our demonstration it doesn't really matter which one you select I'm going to turn on the anime button I'm just gonna move this up and I'm going to move this down it keeps on creating two for some reason all right let me just delete one okay and this okay so we have a basic um, animation going on okay now what we want to do is create a filter group but we don't want we want to create an empty filter group okay so um, if I should right click and then go to uh, group layers into filter it would automatically put my layer inside that group All right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just create a, a folder on top of this group so create a folder and then right click and group layers into filter just so we can have it above it All right and then whatever is inside we can um, remove it but I'm just gonna leave this here for now so what we want to do is um, right click within the group and I'm going to add a distortion and a stretch All right so remember whatever is inside of the filter group it will affect whatever is beneath it so let me go ahead and delete this group layer because we don't really need it All right so I'm gonna click on the stretch and the way the stretch works is well it's stretches by using um, this red point right here it stretches your objects within the scene and of course you already know that you can use the green point to move but what I'm going to do is stretch this all the way down here Oops. let me undo I think I went too far so let me just stretch and place it somewhere here okay and now if I should click on the filter group and go over into my properties we can see that the blend method is on straight 
Now watch what happens if I change this to composite, right? We see we have um, a circle up here. So what, what this has done is it has created a reflection basically, right? So this is basically the reflection of the top circle here, right? So if I move, we see what's going on, right? I'm actually going to undo that because it's adding keyframes and I forgot to turn off the animate, which means everything that I was doing is possibly animated. Yep. Uh, just give me a sec to delete these keyframes. Okay, right. So if I should scrub through my timeline, we see that there's some reflection going on. It's basically doing the same thing, right? That is that they, they our circle here is doing um, and it's just reflecting it. Now, of course, you can alter the, the, the stretch on this to make it more like that. And you can actually move it down uh, no, you can actually, I already have keyframes on this, so um, I should just leave it there. But you can see how this works. So you could have a, uh, a character moving, and then you could use this to create like a reflection for the character, right? Uh, of course, you could just like turn down the opacity for this. So 0.5, and we can see that it's affecting that, right? So just imagine that there is water here and it's moving above the water, right? So yeah, I'm just trying to alter this a bit, make it a bit better, um, and yeah. And that's pretty much how the filter group layer works. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this one and I will see you in the next video. Yo, Tim Hardy.